If you've ever worked with Panasonic's P2 format, you know just how tough it can be to keep those clips organized. Today we're going to use Adobe Media Encoder to ingest that video in a way that's much easier to manage, so stick around. So why am I even recommending another way to ingest video? Well, let me show you. This is your P2 card right here. Inside there, you have your contents folder. Now, if you're new to how P2 cards store your video, um, then you might wonder where your clips are. Well, the video for the clips would be inside the video folder, but that's only going to be your video. It's not going to include any sound. So if you want the audio, those are clips in a separate folder. And Premiere Pro and some other editing programs will magically marry them together when you copy your entire contents folder into your project. But it's not easy at all to manage. And what if you want to share some of those files with someone else? How do you do it? Well, you'd have to copy the entire contents folder over and any other clips that you may or may not want to share with them would be on there. I'm going to show you a much easier way to do this. So let's open Adobe Media Encoder. And just a quick note, this is only going to work on version 22.6.1 or newer. So if you've got an older version, you've got to update it before you can do this. Uh, I'm on version 23. So you're going to go to the preset browser, hit the plus icon, and click on Create Encoding Preset. That's going to open your preset settings window. Now, under Export Settings and Format, you're going to select MXF OP1A. And under Based on Preset, you're going to select Match Source Rewrap. And one more thing, under Audio Channels, my camera shoots four channels of audio, so I want to make sure I get all of that. And by default, this is only going to be giving you two. So let's switch that to four channels. And one last thing, let's name this. Now, by bringing all this video and audio and time code into self-contained clips, there's a term for that, and it's called multiplexing. And there's also a shorter term for that, and it's called muxing. So I'm going to name it after that. We're going to call this the P2 Muxer. Hit OK. And there you go. You've got your preset. Now, if you click on your SD card or your P2 card, rather, you'll see the clip is right there. Give it a second to process the thumbnail. And when that's done, what we're going to do is drag that right on top of the preset we just made. And that's going to load it into the queue here on the right hand side. So let's drag it down. Loads into the queue. And then all we have to do from here is tell it where to go and what to call it. So let's rename this test clip. And I'm going to put it in my project folder that I already made. Then to process all the items in the queue, we only have one here. You're just going to hit the uh, play arrow. And just like that, it's done. Now from here, let's take a look at that clip. So if we open Premiere and then open the clip, we can see there's the video on the top. And on the bottom right-hand side, you can actually see where the levels are and that there's four channels of audio. And the nice thing about this is when you look at the clip, It's just one clip. Now let's say your camera shoots 20 or 30 clips and you want to ingest all those. You need a better way to do that too, but I have your answer right here. We're going to change the P2 card that's in here. We pop the old one out and put a new one in that's got a whole bunch of clips on it. And let's take a look at that in the media encoder. All the clips are going to load in. Now, in order to work with this amount of clips, we're going to create an ingest preset that's based on the encoding preset we made earlier. So we're going to hit the plus button, 
we're going to go to create ingest preset and let's name this p2 multi clip muxer now from there what we want to do is check this box that says transcode files to destination we don't have to worry about it it's actually not transcoding it's rewrapping okay so you don't have to worry about any generation loss here um, and we are going to select the preset and it's actually already there the p2 muxer so it's already based on that preset that we made earlier so all we have to do here is tell it where to put all the files so I'm going to browse to my location where I have that project file made the D drive and now because this is the first time we've ever used this we have to set a few things up so under the file rename area you want to want to check the box that says rename files and then you're going to want to create a new preset within here and what this is going to do is allow you to give a custom prefix to the file name. So you can call these clips whatever you want. But we're going to start with custom text here. And then I like to add the file name at the end. This is the assigned name that the Panasonic camera gives to each clip. So you'll see it here in the thumbnail, all these 09994L. It'll have that at the end. That'll be kind of the suffix of the file name. And that way, even though the prefix is the same, you'll call it whatever the project name is, um, the suffix will be different, so you won't have to worry about incrementing the numbers. So let's call this um, storm damage. And I like to put a little space between the prefix and the suffix. And because it won't let you end with the space, I'm going to add the number one. Now, once that's set, you want to save it. And I usually just use the same name I saved it as Storm Damage. Now you're just going to hit OK. And then from here, you're going to select. You can hit Control A to select all your clips. Um, and then just drag them down to the multi-clip muxer. And then once it populates in the queue, you can check to see if you did this right by taking a look at the output file here in blue. It'll say the path of the file. So it'll say, for my instance, it's saving all these to the D drive in, in the ingest tutorial project uh, under a folder called footage. And the file name is storm damage, okay, followed by the clip name. And you can see all 20 clips are here. So once they're all over here and they're ready to go, you're going to hit that green arrow, let it process the whole queue. We'll just speed this up here. And it's done. So this method of ingesting video is actually based on an old Final Cut Pro 7 function called log and transfer. If you've been in the business for a while, you probably remember it. The only difference is that it was wrapping the files into QuickTime files. This method does it into MXF files. And there's a dozen different ways to do this. So if you have a way that works really well, I'd love to know about it. Please leave it in the comments down below. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and I will see you next time.